hit that subscribe button. Hey YouTube watchers and fellow Jeepers everywhere. This is Jeepin' for me. I'm back with another informational video. So today's video is going to go along with the very first video that I did, which is Jeep water leaks you can fix. This one kind of goes with that. I'm not going to tell you um, how to fix them. Basically, in the first one, uh, I showed you the product that I used, what I did, leak that I was having, and I have not had any leaks since that point. So this one is more precautionary. Uh, this one is going to be a responsibility that each individual Jeep owner would have, whether if you have a YJ, a TJ, a JK, a JL, I don't care what it is, um, to decrease the possibilities of you having leaks in your Jeep. So what I'll do is I'll flip the camera around and I'll go ahead and I'll talk to you about uh, what I do and what works well um, that I've had uh, no issues with um, up to this point because a lot of people, they always say the same things. They say, uh, it's just part of owning a Jeep. Well, it's, it's not. Um, it can be prevented um, for a while. Um, but of course, just like anything else, uh, rubber seals, gaskets, grommets, they, they wear out. But uh, there is something that you can do to prolong their longevity and their life expectancy and decrease the amount of uh, possibilities of you actually having a leak. So let me flip the camera around and I'll go ahead and I'll show you what I do. Okay, this is my 2013 JKU. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go through uh, the areas that, uh, of the responsibility that you should have. And what I do is I do this twice a year. Um, you can use uh, a lot of different products um, to go ahead and, and complete this tasking. Uh, I'll leave that up to you. I'm not going to uh, push a product and I'm not going to try to talk you into a product. But shut the doors the majority of your leaks is going to come from the a pillar and it's either going to be the seal that runs all the way across the windshield that your freedom panels sit on on top of uh, or it's going to be with the uh, door gasket seals so what i'll do is and you're going to see the seals here and you'll notice they're very shiny okay that's not part of the detail. The detail is wa uh, washing and waxing the Jeep, you know, and cleaning it up. Uh, this is something a little bit different. And what I do is twice a year, I will come back and I will take the freedom panels out. I will take the top off of it, or either I'll take and put the top about four inches up to where the seals are exposed. And I will go ahead and take a silicone and I will treat those rubber seals and gaskets. Now it does have a UV prohibitor in it because we do ride around with the top off and we also ride around with uh, the T or the, I keep wanting to say T tops. Um, but we do ride with the freedom panels out. So by doing that, they are in direct contact with the sun. So what I'll do is usually uh, early spring, I will go ahead and treat the entire door seal. And I, that is the entire seal that goes around the door everywhere. All the corners, all the way down, all the way around. I do front and rear. I also do the uh, main seal that runs across the windshield. I also do the seal that is in uh, between the freedom panels, and I also do the main track seal, which is uh, toward the rear from the hard top uh, to the freedom panels. And uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you that if you do this, if you do this, those seals will be much more pliable, they'll be softer, and the possibility of having them compressed to make a good waterproof seal is much, much greater than letting them dry rot 
and end up getting stiff and uh, your the seal is gonna it's you're gonna end up with leaks so I do this uh, along with the rubber seals that are also located at the base of the hard top I do all of them all the way around and I do this twice a year and by doing it twice a year I can honestly say that I've had no leaks at all and this is for 2013. Now, my very first video that I ever posted was G Porter Water Leaks You Can Fix. Now, I did have a leak on the driver's side when I originally bought the Jeep. Went back to Jeep and had them look at it. They replaced the A-pillar seal uh, twice and to no prevail. And it never worked. So then I started looking at different avenues and that different avenue, and you can look at that very first video, and I ended up putting a D gasket seal, which starts right at the end of, it doesn't run all the way across. You can take the freedom panels out, it doesn't interfere. And I would end up uh, starting here, right at the base of the factory seal at the beginning of it, and I ran it all the way down the A-pillar, and actually I ran it all the way to the bottom of the door. So even with the doors off, it's non-noticeable. It's black, you can't even tell that it's there. I can take the freedom panels out, no big deal. Um, I can uh, take the top off, no issue. But my leak was, uh, in this area here so what was happening is it wasn't in com it wasn't compressed and water was gonna it was draining out from uh, the top and instead of it going down the a pillar it was actually going inside it was running down uh, the base of my door through here um, and then it would puddle and of course be in the floorboard so I ended up uh, doing this fix, and of course that did solve it. No issues. No leaks since, that was two years ago. Bone dry, bone dry. Um, but uh, I do, I, that made me think about, well, these are rubber. So if they're rubber, you need to make sure that they are soft, they're pliable, and they're not hard, they're not cracked, they're not dry rotting. Um, now you can buy the replacement pack and replace them all, but uh, I don't, I'm going to stretch it out as long as I possibly can, and I'm going to do what I need to do to go ahead and have that longer life expectancy for these rubber seals and gaskets. And by taking the rubber seals and gaskets and treating them, they are soft. They are pliable, and the light's a little flash on that one. But I also, in the back, uh, at the base of the hard top, I do these as well. I do it all the way around the Jeep. That's the uh, rear tailgate. I do it around the doors. I do it around the rear glass. Uh, I do it all the way around. And I have had no other leaks at all. So the seals are very soft, they're pliable. I get that good compression. Um, I don't have any problems with any type of water. And being a Jeep owner, I mean, we, we use our Jeeps. Uh, we ride around in our Jeeps, we take the tops off, we take the hard tops down, um, we take the soft tops down. We, we use it during the summertime. It's supposed to be a fun vehicle. The issue is, is if you do not take care of these common areas, common areas and seals, you're going to end up with problems and you're going to end up with leaks. So, you know, I hope this video helps you. I hope that, uh, you take it, uh, uh, the responsibility of doing it twice a year, um, it, I think it will decrease. Even if your Jeep doesn't leak now, you don't want it to leak later. 
Um, if it does, then of course, then you either have to replace them, go back to the factory, you know, to the back to the dealer and uh, let a factory tech go ahead and replace and you're gonna end up with the same problems over time. So um, just food for thought. So I, I hope this video has helped you a little bit. I, I, I could go into a lot of areas that uh, a Jeep can leak from anywhere, uh, anywhere. Um, whether if it's uh, the two front doors, whether if it's gonna be from your freedom panels, whether, whether if it's gonna be from uh, your rear glass, whether if it's going to be from your rear doors, it's going it could leak from anywhere. So, you know, you want to make sure that uh, you take those precautions, necess necessary precautions, and try to decrease the possibility of, of having a leak. And, you know, it's like any other rubber product, you know, I mean, if you use the uh, Armor All or if you use the, you know, something from Meguiar's, you know, to go ahead and dress your dashes, uh, that is to keep, you know, that rubber, that plastic uh, protected from not only the sun, but from, you know, drying out for longevity and to keep it looking good. Well, you should do the exact same with your door seals, window seals, freedom panel seals, your windshield seals. You, sh you should do all the rubber as well. And I know that, um, you know, until most of us are not proactive, we're kind of reactive and we wait until something happens and then we try to fix it. But um, I think if you do this, it'll really decrease the amount of uh, leaks that you may have in the future and you'll have a much more enjoyable time with your Jeep. But uh, if you had any questions about um, uh, the leak that I repaired on mine, um, then please, by all means, look at my first video, which is uh, Jeep Water Leaks You Can Fix. And I go through and even show you the product that I used, uh, as well as uh, I could just shoot down, give me, you know, shoot a question, I'll tell you where I bought it, um, I'll tell you what it was, and just go from there. But for all the other seals, I've had no issues whatsoever. Two times a year, 20 minutes per time, it's not a lot of work, but it pays off in the end. So, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you found it informational. Um, remember to like, remember to subscribe, and remember to share. God bless you. Keep jeeping.